Hello toy fans, how are we? This is what you call an epic mail haul. Um, I can't even get behind my desk here. What I have here is a number of donations to the channel and then an item that I purchased myself just before Christmas. This is an Action Man Holy Grail and we're gonna unbox it on today's video, so stay tuned. Come with me toy fans. Hey toy fans, my name is Tony and welcome back to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. Now I need to get this enormous box out of my way. That's my Action Man Holy Grail. We're going to open that last. But in the meantime, uh, I have a whole heap of other donations to the channel. Um, and I thought it's been a while since I've done an unboxing video. And so th this is like the best mail haul week I've had in a long, long time. So um, I know who a few of these are from. Uh, this one, I'm not quite so sure. I don't even know if this one is actually a donation. Let's, uh, I might end up cutting this part out of the video. You never know. This is Oh no, this is, I can tell, this is from Brick Mantooth, uh, the Brick Mantooth YouTube channel. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Brian. Uh, and we have here, oh, look at that. I did a video a while ago about um, some Toy Adventures magazines, and I mentioned that I didn't have every single issue. And look, he's he sent me issue five, issue six, and issue seven. I think I have issue seven already. Um, oh, but that's wonderful. Thank you very much, Brian. Very much appreciated. I was not expecting that at all. In fact, when I picked it up from the PO box, I was like, I didn't know what this extra... What is this? Oh, wow. Look at that beautiful Star Team poster. That is gorgeous. I'm going to... Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to get that framed one day. Uh, in 2024, you might see Analog Toys in a new studio. Stay tuned. Um, but when I get there, uh, I'm going to frame this and uh, put it up in the new studio. That's awesome. Thank you very much, Brian. All right. Sp space is going to be a premium for this video. So the next parcel, this one, um, is from Laser Pants, the host of the 3 POA podcast. A channel which, if you're not already subscribed to, you really need to subscribe. Link to the 3POA podcast is in the description of this video. Um, thank you very much, Ryan. Marvel Legends. So, I... I had asked Ryan to get me a copy of the new Action Force novel by Bill Nedro. Um, because uh, um, the Amazon site that was selling it would not do international shipping. It's not the case if it was expensive, they wouldn't even do it. Um, so the book's there, but included in here, Ryan knows what I like. So although I'm kind of out of collecting Marvel, I'm, well, I am out of collecting Marvel Legends, unless I see some... Uh, cheap at a toy fair, even though I don't really go to toy fairs much anymore. Uh, there's no toy fairs here in Port Hedland, but I have wanted a really nice Spider. Like I really like the um, Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man. That which was the video I did about that and the lizard figure was where I said, like, hey, I'm done with Marvel Legends. Um, but he's a very, a very dark, dark blue. Um, and I like the fact that he kind of sits over here on the Ghostbusters firehouse. I wanted a classic, more red and blue Spider-Man for my display. I've got a bunch of Spider-Man figures, or Spider-Man related figures over here with Lizard, Rhino, Hobgoblin, that kind of thing. So Ryan sent me this guy. And uh, this is a really, really nice Spider-Man. I think it's the same body as that guy, just with obviously a different color scheme. So uh, thank you very much, Laser Pants. Much appreciated. Thank you for also taking the time to 
really bubble wrap and protect that card, even though you know damn well I'm just going to rip the figure off and throw the card in the bin. <laughs> um, and here she is. I don't know when I'm going to find time to read this, but I am now a completist when it comes to Valiverse Action Force. I need to have everything that comes out. And uh, this novel by Bill Nedro, um, if I remember, I'll hopefully get a, a link to where you can purchase this in the States from Amazon. Um, and I'll put that in the video description. Hopefully I remember. If I forget, someone put something in the YouTube comments and I'll, uh, get, I'll get it corrected. Um, oh, this is a it's a really quality looking book 459 pages that's going to take me a while <clears throat> roll out eclipse condor kill switch blowback trigger they are they are counted among, among <clears throat> excuse me they are counted among action forces top operatives as their enemies the swarm and new colonia advance upon the republic of nevada the team finds themselves deep in occupied territory. Will they find a way to stop their enemies advance or will their individual agendas and passions allow the swarm to wipe away the final threat to their total domination? I'm definitely going to read this book, but I'm so busy with content on the channel, my day job. I imagine it's going to take me a while, but uh, I'll give you guys my thoughts once I've read it. So far, Laser Pants says, uh, can't say enough good things about it. So um, but yeah, it's just awesome to have a, a new piece of Alaverse Action Force in the collection. All right, this box here, I'm not too sure who this one is from. Um, I kind of think I know, but I'm not certain if it's if it's this package or not. Very well packaged. There we go. Yes, as I thought, this is what I kind of thought it was. So this is from someone in Australia that I that I I, I don't know. His name is Scott. Um, he said, hi, Tony, Chris Smith accidentally, that's Chris Smith of Stan Solo, accidentally sent me two land speeders. I got in touch with him via Instagram and he asked me to send the extra one to you. So here you go. The idea being that, um, the, I mean, this, first of all, this customer could have just kept both. Um, but he got in touch with Chris and said, hey, I only ordered one. You sent me two. And Chris said, well, look, so save the, um, the shipping it all the way back to the UK. You're in Australia. Send it to Tony. He says, P.S. Love your channel, especially the Becoming Desert Rat feature. Action Force segments, a line I was not so familiar with. And unboxing videos. Well, you've made it into an unboxing video now. Uh, you and others actually inspired me to create my own channel. And while it's quite amateurish, it's a creative outlet and lets me showcase my collection and discuss things that I enjoy. Which, at the end of the day, what it's all, is what it's all about. I 100% agree. Uh, can't wait to see what else Chris has in store for us collectors this year. He never disappoints in addition to new content from your channel. Cheers, mate, Scott. Thank you very much, Scott. And uh, thank you to, to Chris Smith as well. Um, I've got to get this guy open. I've been eagerly awaiting one of these. I have ordered one, um, but I ordered it late. I believe I missed kind of the first, uh, uh, the, the, the first stock that came in. Uh, I've been waiting for remaining stock, but here we go. The Ubrickian 9000 Land Speeder. I am not going to open this here on this unboxing. I think this deserves a dedicated video because I've got a couple of other Stan Solo figures that I haven't reviewed yet. yet. So um, we'll see. Maybe that's a video I can put together this weekend. I don't know. Um, possibly. Possibly. So thank you to Scott and to Chris very much for that. Okay, now we move on to another big box. Let's um, cover up the sender's address. 
I'm not worried about mine because if you see any addresses on here, it's not my actual home address. Um, this is from Derek Torres, a longtime supporter of the channel. He's a member of our Patreon. Um, and D Derek did reach out and there was one particular figure he wanted to send me. Um, and I was like, thank you very much, man. I really, really appreciate that. And then this box turned up and I'm like, there's a lot more than one six inch scaled figure in here, like just from the, the weight of it. So uh, let's see what Derek sent us. And don't forget, we've still got the Action Man Holy Grail to go. All right. from Derek. Dear Tony, I want to apologize for the delay in sending you this package. I told you I would, uh, I'm not going to say what that item is, I'll leave it until for the unboxing, at the beginning of November and here it is the middle of January. Congratulations on reaching 50,000 subscribers. Wow, this parcel got here pretty quick from the States if uh, I had already hit, because I only hit 50,000 two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. I've been following you for several years now, and I thoroughly enjoy your content. Um, he's mentioning what's in the box there. Oh. Uh, wow. Um, I think I'm going to leave this for a moment and come back to it. I love me some Captain Carter. This is Stealth Suit Captain Carter from the What If series. Um, this is a great figure. Obviously, I've got the non-Stealth Suit uh, Marvel Legend in the, in the collection, but you can't have enough Peggy Carter, particularly not this version of Captain Carter. So thank you much, Derek. Um, bit of a bang on the box there, but like that Spider-Man, this is coming out of the package and going into the display. Thank you very much. Um, that's just packing. Oh my word. I've wanted this figure forever. You all know I love Punisher. I, although I'm out of collecting Marvel Legends, I like Marvel Legends and, uh, the Marvel Punisher War Machine is a figure I've wanted for a really, really long time. And he is beautiful. Derek, thank you so much. I can't wait to get this unboxed. And along with Spider-Man and Captain Carter, get this into the Marvel Legends display and hopefully you can see it on, uh, on live streams and stuff. All right. Oh, whoops. It says open first. I've already opened them. Oh, wow. It's a re release of the G.I. Joe Action Soldier. That's actually real. I've never seen one of these re releases. So, this is from. Uh, when was this from? This was an anniversary re-release. So you've got the, uh, the basic G.I. Joe soldier there. He's got a dog tag with it's under his shirt. Looks really good. Com obviously, I'm very, very familiar with the original vintage items. Um, that's awesome. Thank you, Derek. I'm going to keep that in his, uh, in his box there. And that goes with... Oh man, 
I have recently acquired a vintage loose version of this outfit. Um, okay, this is a, uh, a reproduction. I think Derek's letter said from 2008. That's not Derek's letter, this one here. The other two items are from the 2008 reissue and unfortunately are not original releases. Um, well, I, I would feel very bad if, if you sent me original of this because you'd be talking thousands of dollars in, in carded form there. Um, based on one of your videos recently, I thought you would appreciate these two additions to your collection. I picked them up new to give to someone else, but I never got around to it. I can't think of a better place for them than in the Analog Toys archive. Please open the long toolbox first and then the flat one. Thank you very, very much. Um, he also mentions that this Captain Carter, Hayley Atwell, is completely free of Tom Cruise's stench. <laughs> um, Derek, that's awesome, man. Thank you very much. I've, I, I've, I'm planning, I'm not even planning, I'm, within the next few months, you'll be seeing a video about the whole range of 1960s G.I. Joe action marines. Um, I, I've acquired all the pieces I need. Um, I just think with them being, you know, 12 inch vintage toys, very similar to Action Man. I'm just kind of trying, trying to change up the content a little bit. I've done a number of Action Man videos, but that G.I. Joe video, for certain you'll see that G.I. Joe Action Marine video before Joe Fest, that's for sure. Um, exactly when in the schedule, I don't know. Now, <clears throat> there is one other item in here that he sent me. And this is, I also included a patch from the unit I served in Afghanistan with. I was, I was a field artillery cannoneer, but I was also attached to an infantry unit within the same brigade, the 33rd Infantry Brigade Combat Team of the Illinois Army National Guard. I was stationed at Cop uh, Lagman, uh, I was stationed at a Cop in Lagman Province. I don't know if I pronounced that province correctly, but. Uh, in the summer of 2009. Keep up the great work, Analog Toys, the 3 PO the three POA podcast, and Iconicon. Again, congratulations on 50K, and I look forward to you having 100,000 followers soon. Thanks, Derek. Derek, thank you, man. Um, just want to make sure... Yeah. Derek, this, this is awesome, man. I'm going to... I'm going to put this on my uh, on the backpack that I, I I wear when I do my becoming desert rat training sessions and stuff like that. Um, I've, it's got a Velcro strip on there, and I've got a number of other badges, so um, that's going to take pride of place on the uh, the training pack. So, thank you very very much. Okay, now to the action man, Holy Grail. I feel like I need to clear some space here. I don't know quite how I'm going to achieve this. But I have this epic box here from DHL. As I said, this is an item that I purchased before Christmas um, from the UK. It uh, was sent to my, the, the seller didn't want to send it overseas, so they sent it to my friend Keith Knight, who would, you, you would know from the live chat and things like that. Um, and then Keith organized, I let him get Christmas and New Year and stuff out of the way and then organized, we worked together and, and decided to go with, uh, with DHL to get it here. Um, this is not a cheap item. Shipping made it all the more expensive, but this is something I've wanted for a very, very long time. Oh, and I can see the corner of the box there. Oh, maybe I can see, no, that's not, what the hell is that? All right. Unfortunately, this had to be opened by DHL and repackaged because there was a battery left inside. But, it looks like they've done a good job. All right, I'm gonna to have to put this down on the floor here. I don't know where I'm gonna keep all this stuff. 
I've been saying that storage space has been a problem for a long time. Oh, there we go. First of all, this is awesome. I was not expecting this to be in the box. Leicester Vintage Toy Shop. That is where I purchased this item from. Um, after I had Joe and Gav on the show, I was talking to them afterwards about <clears throat> an item in their shop, which was um, out of my price range at the price that was advertised. But uh, they were awesome guys. They, they worked with me. Um, very, very pleased with, with the price of this item. Um, and then they threw some t-shirts in as well. So, oh, and... And a Toy Shop on Tour t-shirt as well. That's awesome. Joe and Gav, thank you very, very much. Now, I don't know where this item came from. I don't know whether this came from Joe and Gav or whether this came from Keith Knight. I'm betting this came from Keith Knight. This is an original Palatoy Parker Action Man board game. Oh, the smell of old cardboard. This is so cool. I've no, I don't own this, I've never owned this, but it's a, a piece of vintage Action Man memorabilia. I do collect stuff beyond just it looks to be complete. We've got all the Action Man cards. The actual board. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that artwork. That's really cool. Yeah, I'm betting this was Keith Knight. I haven't seen a letter or anything, so I haven't been able to figure that out. But um, thank you very much, Keith. I don't know what I enjoy more, the, the toy or that musty vintage smell of old goodness. Um, all right. Here is my holy grail item. And this is one of the nicest vintage boxes I've ever seen. This is the incredibly rare Action Man Fire Tender. Look how big this thing is. This box is gorgeous. Something that is very, very unusual on an Action Man box of this size is that, here we go, the stars have not been cut out. This came with 10 stars like most of the big vehicles did and the Palatoy star scheme, um, the Palatoy star scheme was, a, was like a mail away promotion where you could collect stars that came on every Action Man product and you could send away for free gifts from Palatoy. And 21 stars got you a free Action Man figure. And in all the years I've been collecting, um, you will find sometimes like cut, minty carded outfits with the stars still on them, but they might only have two or three stars. Um, in all my years of collecting, even mint examples of boxes normally have the stars cut out. Because when this stuff, um, when Action Man was into its last few years and this stuff was sort of taking up shelf space in toy shops, toy shop owners would cut this stuff out, send away for free Action Man figures and then sell those figures. So it's very, very unusual to have the stars. But overall, this is just a stunning, stunning box. And let's see... the toy okay need to go that way this is a fragile toy this is very hard to find they weren't made in 
super high numbers. There's the ladder. Back rail. So laser pants, fuck you and your brat's car. <laughs> oh, this thing is amazing. I have to uh, get this all pieced together. This is in beautiful condition. The only thing this is missing is there is supposed to be a fire axe that fits into these clips here. I was aware of that before I made the purchase. Um, and it... The, the the deal the deal with the guys at Leicester Vintage kind of wasn't done overnight. I had to like think about it. At one point, we were talking about maybe trading some stuff, and then uh, just before Christmas, like Joe came back to me with a with a price that I was really really happy with. Um, so I just I just purchased it, um, but I, I I wanted it complete, and I think what made me pull the trigger and actually buy it was when I found the axe on it. The axe wasn't cheap either. But I found the axe. I actually bought the axe before I had sealed the deal from memory. Um, but everything is here. It's all complete. And it will be appearing in a very special Action Man video coming soon to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. All right. I've got a bunch of stuff to tidy up. A bunch of toys to play with. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. <laughs>